What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club, new mods today, guys. Hopefully you guys all have an amazing day. We have actually a lot of mods to go over today, guys. If you haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Consoles. Okay, guys, the format is going to be changing in these next two weeks, and we're going to be changing it a little bit today. If you guys are used to seeing the new mod video, here is kind of a new format, but it will also be upgrading next week, too. Anyways, the new mods we did get today, we got the same Lamborghini, the Potager Toro Combo Line, the Case 821G, the Forestry Disc Mulcher, the Starra Absoluta 44 Rose, the Lizard TLF, the Placeable Farm Silo, the Old Fence with Gates, Polish Barn, Polish Garage, Lizard Pallet Pack, Wooden Fence, and Small Gate. And if you guys did notice, we do have timestamps now. I'm trying out this timestamps. Hopefully they are working right. But you know what? Let's go over those mods. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, the first mod is, of course, the same Lamborghini and the Hurleman, guys. This is a three tractor pack, 32 slots, $41,000, and they range from 150 to 160 horsepower right here. Really nice, as you guys can see, there is a forestry edition with this, so you can, you know, push your logs or do whatever you want with them. Let's go in the store and actually take a look at them first before we actually try them out. They are all under the medium tractor category, so let's go all the way over here. And there they are right there. See, 150, then uh, this one says 165. Let's just go to it real quick. Rim color, you got gray, silver, cream, white, and light yellow. Uh, model selection, you got the 90, 95, 95, 98. Uh, the series 95, 95, uh, 95, I think it's without fenders, I guess. With, or without engine cover, then the 95, 98 without. And then back to the regular. We got Michelin, you got Trailboard, you got Midas, you got Nakian. Michelin, you got original wheels, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, wheel oversized, uh, rear twin wheel, uh, and then back to original. Michelin, I mean, uh, trailboard, you have alternative base wheels, wh uh, wheel weights, narrow tires, rear narrow twin tires, and then back to that. And then Midas, you have alternative wheel weights. I think it's back to the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, and then also fender, you have either standard, you have the rear mudguard one, you have without fenders, Beacon light right, beacon light right, uh, with, I, I don't know what those mean. Uh, oh, with fenders, okay. And then back to standard. Hydraulic uh, connections, you have standard, you have uh, 80 kilograms, you have 160 kilograms, 240, 320, 400, 480, front uh, attacher foldable, front attacher standard, front loader, and then forestry setup. And then engine, you have the Master H6165, which is 165, the Master H6190, which is 189, and then back to the regular. So that is that one, and pretty much the rest of these are the same. Let me go in here real quick. See, the colors are the same. Everything else is all the same. The only thing that's different is, of course, the engine setup. See, 150, 165, and then 190. And then this one has the, uh, what is it? The Titans. So there is that pack right there. Okay, let's actually go into, let's go into this one right here. Okay, ooh, you see the door opens? Anything else happen? Let me see. Okay, but yeah, that's nice right there. Okay, so let's go to the help window. Just see, what? <laughs> that is cool. I think this is the first tractor you can actually do this on console. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's actually not bad. I mean, I could see more of them actually doing this now. Okay. Uh, horn. I think that's it. Okay, let's... What's two? Left mirror? No. -uh. <laughs> what? Right mirror adjustment? Blade control? What's blade control? Oh, probably if I had the blade on here. Doing something, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. Then back to adjust seat. Okay, so let's turn it on. Ooh, nice sounds too. Top speed is 26 miles an hour. This is a nice tractor pack right here. Lights, dashboard all lights up. Really nice. I can tell you guys this, I am definitely going to be using this tractor. This is a nice tractor right here. Looks like everything works on it. Turn signals, yep. 
Okay, so there is that one. That is really nice. Okay, let me try to squeeze in over here. Ooh, nice shutting off sound too. And the door opens back up when you exit it. Wow. Okay, the next one to go over, guys. Let's turn this thing off real quick. This is the Pottinger Toro Combi Line. 26 to 32 slots, $129,000, all the way up to the bigger one, which is $159,000. And as you guys can see, I do have three of them because there is three different ones on here. Uh, you see they got different kind of options. This one's got two of those one things that come out. Three on here. Uh, this one also has like a little bit tarp thing on the back. Uh, really, really nice. Okay, where you can find these at? Let's go to uh, loading wagons. And then all the way at the end. See, like I said, there's three of them. 150 horsepower required for that. 200 and then back to 200. Uh, this one holds up to 34,000 liters. And these ones hold up to 42,000 liters. Uh, let's see. Options. You have default lighting. You have LED package one, two, and then beacon lights. And then you have Michelin, Trailborg. You have 26.5, 26.5 wide tires, 30, 30 wide, and then back to 22 inch, and back to 26 inch. Uh, 26 inch wide. Does that just keep going? Yeah, okay. And you have Trailborg, 26, 26 wide. I think it's the same thing. Then design. You have number plates. I don't know what that is. Uh, two, yeah. <laughs> you just have a bunch of number plates. And then design, you have either cover or roof roof ropes, uh, duck cover for harvesting, uh, and then back to no cover. Then you have conveyor. So you can actually put a conveyor on this or with conveyor belt. That's pretty cool. And then capacity, you have two discharge rolls. That's what they're called, discharge rolls. Or the third discharge ro roll. So really nice little options right there. And each of these have it. Of course, you know, this one holds a lot more. This one holds up to 42,000. So that is the Pottinger. Really, really nice. I like these things. These things look nice. Okay, so there are those. The next one to go over, guys, is this right here. And this is the Case 821G. 26 slots, $175,000. And as you guys can see, these are wheel loaders. Also, these wheel loaders also come with this right here. Uh, this is really nice, too. Let's actually take a look at these in the store. So if we go, let's actually take a look at, let's go to wheel loaders. And then that bucket right there is the 821G bucket. $3,600, uh, it holds up to 3,600 liters. And there is, let's see, change it to any color you want to. And then design you that have lame, dent, and back to lane. I, I, I like the dent right there. Okay, where you can find the wheel loaders though is right over here. There it is right there, 275 horsepower. Uh, main color, any color you want. Design color, any color you want. Uh, let's see, rim color, any color you want. You got full mud guard. Uh, full uh, mud guard plus beacons, small mud guard, small mud bar, uh, mud bar, ugh. mud guard plus beacons. I can't speak. And then back to full. You have wheel setup: the Michelin XHA2, uh, the XLDD2, the XLDD, the X Mine D2, the XHA2. I think we did that one already. Then you have company colors. You have one, one plus two. I mean, you can go on for a while, as you guys can see. Even changes the sides and everything. So I'm not going to go through. I don't even know how much these even go to. Uh, we're already up to 10. So, okay, all the way up to 11, it looks like. Wow. Okay, so there is that one. Let's actually get in and take a look at it. Doors swing open. That is nice. Let's go to help window. Whoa, what's this? Hey, you can open up the window just by pushing A. I like that. Okay, open up cover. Oh, that opens up the door. Of course that I might be using this one from now on this is pretty nice All right, let's turn the engine over top speed of 26 here's the inside uh, that steering wheel looks like yeah <laughs> it needs to come down or something at least in my own opinion there's the horn okay lights okay lights up inside a little bit turn signals I wish those turn signals right down there would actually blink with that nice sounds really nice looks like everything all works good yep okay let's go over here so that is the case a21g guys really really nice 
Okay, the next one is this little bitty thing right here, and this is the forestry disc mulcher. You put it on a skid steer, and this thing, of course, gets rid of your stumps. It is five slots. It is eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars. As you guys can see, see, I love these like little, just these little details. See all these little bitty stickers right there. Just think of trying to do those. Wow. Okay, where you can find this? Let's go over here. Let's go under. Where are you at, skid steer stuff? There you are. Let's go all the way to the very end. And there it is right there. Options on that. Main color. And that is it. So there is that one. The next one, guys, is this one right here. This is the Lizard TLF. 10 slots. $24,000 for this one. And $29,000 for the bigger one right over there. So where you guys can find these at. Let's actually go over to here. I believe it's under manure spreaders, is it? Not manure, spreaders, fertilizer technology. There they are right there. This one holds up to 6,800 liters and this one holds up to 8,800. And as you guys can see, you can do fertilizer or lime on these ones. Options, you have capacity 7,500 or 8,800. And this one has, come on, 5,500 or 6,800. So really nice. I like these covers for the past two days. The covers on this one and the Randone from yesterday. I like how they did these. Okay, so there are those two things. And then next one, we have this big thing right here. This is the Star Absoluta 44 Rose. 12 slots, $215,000, 20.7 working meters, guys. I think this is what I'm going to be using from now on. This thing is nice. Look at this thing. Wow. Where you can find this one. Let's go over to, where are you at? Planters, planters, planters. Somewhere is a planter. There is a planter. Okay, so let's go all the way over here. There it is right there. See the biggest one in the base game, 18.2. So that's the biggest one in the base game right there. Uh, I, this one, I believe you might have to, uh, yeah, you're probably going to have to actually cultivate before or plow before. But this thing can plant pretty much anything you can think of. Cotton, whatever. Same thing with the Great Plains one. Uh, let's see. It does require 330 horsepower and there is no options on that. See, look how big that thing is. Wow. Okay, so there is the regular mods for today, guys. Let me know which one you guys like. Okay, let's go over to the placeables. Come on, let's move. Okay, so here we go with the placeables. Our first one is right there. And this one is the placeable farm silo. 25 slots, $110,000, holds up to 300,000 liters. And this thing is multi-fruit uh, compatible, guys. So you put those multi-fruits in there. Where you can find this one, Let's go under silos. And there it is right there, $110,000, $45 a day. So you can pretty much hold anything you guys want to, pig food, even root crops. And it also has 300 degree rotation on that one. Okay, so there's that. Next one, guys, this is the old fence with gate. One slot and they range from 25 to $70 right here. So you guys can see we got different old ones. I actually like these ones right here. See, these are the ones I'm used to from where I live at, right here. These big old thick, like, log ones. Okay, and that look, that's the gate. Really, really nice. Um, let me see. Yeah, these are pretty nice. This one, I, it, it, this one looks like a board and kind of a log at the same time. Okay, but anyways, where you can find these ones, is it over here? I think it is. Yeah, there they are right there. You have fence field. Feel, uh, fence feel large, fence connection small, fence connection medium, fence connection large, and then back to fence gate, which is $200. So there is that one right there. Next one, here we go. As you guys can see, these are almost exactly the same thing, except for you see the vines and stuff over there. This is the Polish barn, 28 to 32 slots, $50,000 right here. Uh, let's actually open these up real quick. Did I press it open? There we go. Open that one. Jeez, these things open fast. Okay, so here is the inside of this. Does this door open up over here? Oh, yeah, it does. So you got like a little bitty workshop thing right here. Wow, I like the detail on this. Really nice. And then this one right here, I believe everything is still the same inside. It's just those vines that's on the outside. Yeah. Okay, where you can find these ones. Let's go under sheds. And there we are right there. The Polish barns. Uh, as you guys can see, they're pretty much exactly the same. Uh, let's see. As you guys can see, 360 rotation. So there is those ones. The next one is right back here. 
And this is the Polish Garage, 11 to 15 slots, $25,000. And the same thing, vines. <laughs> That's like the, really the only thing that separates all these. Ooh, and this thing is really nice too. I like all the little decorations he put in this. And then this one. Be nice if we can get water out of there. Yep, see the exact same thing right there. Okay, where you can find these ones, let's go right there. And there they are right there. $25 a day and 300 studio rotation on that one. Okay, the next one. Let's go over some uh, gate stuff, guys. Okay, the, this one right here. This is the wooden fence. One slot. This thing is $50 right here, this pole thing. And this one is $80. Uh, pretty nice. Where you can find these ones, I believe, under decorations. All the way at the very end. And there they are right there. $10 a day and $15 a day. Okay, and the last regular placeable is this one right here. And this is a small gate. Two slots, $400. Can you open it? There it goes. I like the little animation it did right there. Okay, and this one you can find under miscellaneous. See, a little bit different right there. And there it is right there. And 300 degree rotation on that. You guys are probably thinking... That's all, right? Nope, that is not all. Let's head on over to the store real quick. Let's go to the shop. There we go. And here we go right here, guys. A big pack right here. This is the Lizard Palette Pack. One to seven slots. Uh, five to uh, $5 all the way up to $1,800. As you guys can see all the different combinations with these. I like these. So you got these right here. You know, the Libby bags you can pick up. 50, uh, 50 uh, liters, I believe. And then, of course, you got big old pallets right here. This is amazing right here. These can also be strapped down. So you got, let's see, right here we got uh, limestone, lime. We got solid fertilizer. We got cow manure. We got liquid manure. Got chicken feed. You can got cow feed right here. So there's actually cow feed. Uh, then you got pig food. Uh, you got horse feed. You got even sheep feed. Then you got bales. Yes, you even got bales. So let's go over these in the store real quick. So let's go all the way over here. I think these are probably the ones I'm probably going to be using from now on. So let's go over to the pallets. And then as you guys can see, we got single bags right here. 50 liters. Uh, so you got seed bags, uh, lime, fertilizer, manure, chicken food, cow food, horse food, pig food, sheep food, then back to seed. And then seed pallets. So you, got, you, can, you can even put wrap on it, like clear wrap. You can put clear wrap bulk. You can uh, put black uh, black standard, and then back to seed black bulk, and then of course you could do either that or bulk. So you can put one pallet or two pallets. Really nice right there, and even doubles it. So, and then it just keeps going on and on and on. And then even the, with the liquid tanks, the herbicide, fertilizer, milk. Yeah, you can even buy milk. Uh, so slurry. So like this right here. This milk tank would definitely be really good, of course, say like on Sandy Bay, where you need to feed those baby cows. So that's awesome right there. And then diesel tank brands. I don't know what the diesel tank brand thing means because I haven't seen anything it changes. So who knows what that is. Okay, and then of course you got the uh, premium foods and all that stuff, which I believe the premium foods, I don't know what the difference between the premium food is and the regular stuff, but that is nice. And then, of course, the pallets. You got no wrap, clear wrap, clear wrap bulk, gr uh, grass black standard, grass black bulk. And you see you got grass, you got grass bulk, hay, hay bulk, straw, straw bulk, silage. So, yeah, that is amazing right there. Love that pack. Okay, so that is all the mods for today, guys. Let me know which one's your guys' favorite. Like always, guys, today's schedule. If you guys have not checked out FS Daily News, make sure you guys do. And then tonight at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be back on Bessie Benice. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. Like always, guys, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Let's try for, let's say, 300 likes on that. So definitely hit that like button. Like always, guys, have an all-stay, farmers. Peace.